Okay, micro chicken coop. This will house about three to four adult chickens. Uh, this is all refurbished parts. There are no new parts on here. Everything was recycled. And uh, we'll show you how you do, it, do this. This is almost all entirely pallet wood. There is some other scrap wood off beds and such, but and this uh, aluminum skirting is out of a dumpster. It's all recycled as well. And this makes a really good heavy duty roof, by the way, if you attach it right. Very waterproof. Okay, my door, my uh, latch is an old uh, uh, gate latch from a thrift store. The hinges on the door, I think, were recycled off an old cabinet door. And my door is trimmed in with, with a rough cut 2x4. And here's how my door works, like so. Nice secure latch. You see how I trim that door in so no predators can get in and there's no big cracks. It's hard to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera. And then I went with the drawbridge style. It's, it's somewhat easier for the chickens because they give them a ramp. I took my angle grinder and I cut little grooves here so they can get up and down here with some friction on their claws to get in and out. There's an inside view. And the bottom is a micro pallet that had an old motor on it. And so that was heavy duty. I started with my base and that elevates it off the ground to get good airflow. And speaking of airflow, there is an air vent installed, which is an old recycled air vent for a house eave. And this whole roof lifts right off. Let me show you how I did that for cleaning. And there's a good inside view. I used expansion foam to seal it all in and all the cracks. There's an inside view of that air vent. That just drops into place with two sections of 2x4 that are used as struts to hold it in place. And there you go. And it's on an old cement pad for a patio barbecue, by the way. Very cool. And uh, I sprayed the whole bottom with WD-40 just to seal in the wood because it is raw wood. And that will help protect it against moisture and uh, bacteria starting to wick up from the bottom and prematurely destroying it. As well as the door was soaked in WD-40 and the latches and everything as well. There you go. I hope you like my project. I wish you well. Take care. Please subscribe.